Hi there, this is Tech Talks by George and District 84 here in Central Florida. Today, we are going to discuss the setup of a hybrid meeting. I'm going to demonstrate how I go about setting up a hybrid meeting in a local library. Here I am setting up a hybrid meeting at our local library. The first item I'm setting up here is just an audience view camera. It is a cell phone that will look down the table. Simple setup. I've used some selfie sticks to fashion these camera holders, both for the audience view camera as well as for the speaker camera. I find it a lot easier to use these, and I fashioned a, a holder at the bottom to hold these cameras nice and steady. They're better than a tripod because it, the legs of a tripod will spread out on a table and get in the way. But with this, I can move very easily to get things all set up in a non-intrusive way. Next, we will go ahead and get our computer in place. Got to get it close to the lectern so that way the cabling doesn't have to run very far. But what does have to run far is we're going to run our cable, an HDMI cable, from our computer. We'll hook that in into our computer and then run it down to the TV or projector if you have a projector going. In our case, we have a TV set up. So what we'll do is bring it down to the end and plug it into our TV if all goes well. Actually, this is our fourth time in setting up in this room, so we knew what we were doing in here. We've already worked out some of the problems that originally started. So we end up plugging it into HDMI 2. HDMI 1 typically is already taken by the TV or the cabling for the TV, the internet for the TV. So now we have that all set up. Now we're going to set up our microphone. We're going to put that right on the lectern. And it's a USB microphone. And that's what you see me doing. I have, I'm going to plug it into our computer. Our computer will automatically detect that microphone being hooked up, so it's, it makes it quite easy when we plug it in. It's almost plug and play, so it's very easy to do. We're almost finished with our setup now. We're going to turn on the TV, and then using our remote, we will then select HDMI 2, where we plugged our HDMI cable in. And then once we've done that, you now see my TV, or my computer, coming up on the screen. So we are all set to start our hybrid meeting. All in all, we got into the library room at 6 p.m. By 6.19 p.m., we had it all set up and ready to go. What you see here is our final setup. TVs in place, the far camera for the audience is in place, the computer is all set up, the microphone is set up. Let's do a recap of the setup. A USB microphone is absolutely essential. You want to have the best quality that you can, so have a USB microphone. Have cabling for either the TV or the projector and make sure that you have the remote control for that TV or for that TV or projector. The setup for the audience view is important so that the people who are online can see the people who are at the hybrid meeting. The setup for the speaker view camera up by the lectern is important so that you can have a nice good view of each and every speaker and I highly encourage everyone to come to the front just like the old days and get on camera and use that very good microphone that you have set up. One item that I didn't talk about is an external speaker to the computer. Turns out for us that we did not need an external speaker to the computer. Our sound came through the TV. 
If you don't have that on your TV or projector, be ready to have an external speaker because you want good amplification so that the people in the room can hear you. I hope you found this hybrid meeting update interesting and useful. We'll see you next time.